In this video, we're going to take this monster character generator and we're going to use the prompts in order to make these three awesome looking monsters. So let's go ahead and click get inspired and get our first prompt. This lizard like monster is tough and not very cool. They have flight powers and rough skin. All right, that's a really cool prompt to start off with. So let's go ahead and try it. So from the start, I already knew what I was going to do. I added this guy with a suit and put this lizard in behind his head. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cursed, but it is pretty funny and I think it's going to turn out great. So for some reason, I really like the idea of having this like sophisticated businessman lizard thing, but he's got some like dark secrets he's hiding. Um, so I just messed out these parts here and this is what we've got so far. It's uh, yeah, I don't even know what you're going to call that. That's just horrific that's hard to look at and since it said it had flying powers we're just gonna add in some wings right here just make them bigger and put them right behind his back as well as making his shirt red just because i think it the color just fits a little better but i don't know that's completely opinionated so then i added some shadows to make it look like he's the lizard businessman is actually there instead of just stuck on top of this guy's head um yeah this looks pretty good after adding a bunch of shadows just like this even to these little spines right here we're gonna add a bunch of shadows too just overall it makes the whole thing look so much better so after that we're just gonna add in like these ripped jeans texture and we're gonna put this on a suit we're just gonna mask out the parts that we do not need so we can add this like crocodile skin under it just to make it kind of I, I don't know if this is gonna work but it, it really ended up looking good in the end so i'm pretty happy with that just made it green as well as putting some shadows on it right here after that we added in some blood to his eye we're just going to use this piece of blood and just add some shadows to it darken it up and then i started adding some shadows to all of this hands i guess <laughs> Gosh, this took so long to make actually look good, but in the end, it turned out really well, and it kind of looked realistic. Not that much, but I love it. I then took even more blood, put the blend layer on multiply, and just mashed it out to make it match the shape of his face to make it look kind of realistic, which it did in the end, so I'm pretty happy with that. Then did the same thing with that little piece on the eye, just like this, put it on multiply. I then added even more ripped jeans and put it on his tux, as well as putting that same crocodile texture under it after masking out this inside part just like this. After that was all done, it was time to add a background. So we added in this white light to the top, as well as this orangey red bright light from underneath. Just to add some dynamics. And then we started on the highlights. Just using an exposure layer, we went all across the parts of the lizard man that actually touched like where the light was hitting and this took a long time but this is what really puts it together as well as adding this glow like this bounce off glow to the top of it it really helps it in the end so this is what we ended up with wow so much detail it's kind of creepy but it's also kind of funny and the concept is just totally wacky like it's just, it's just stupid but it also looks kind of good at the same time so i hope you like it so for this next one, we've got this bird-like monster. It's antagonistic and sort of crabby. They have mind-reading powers and hairy skin. So to start this off, I went through a bunch of different eagles and tried to find the right one to match what I wanted. So I ended up on this one, cut it out, masked it out to make it not look as blurry. It's a little grainy, but I just made the whole picture grainy and then it looked pretty good. So I added in this log, masked out the parts that I did not need, and I ended up making it blue. And I'm gonna skip that though, because it takes a while and it's just boring. Uh, so I added this like ruby in and put this fur brush around it as well as changing that ruby color to blue and adding a really nice soft glow to the top of it. So with that soft glow obviously came some highlights so I put some highlights all around this bird. Whew, this took a long time but it looked pretty good and I love how it ended. So after adding that I put it in some shadows to make it look like he's actually standing on the branch instead of just floating on top of it I guess. It just obviously makes the whole thing look better. This will actually works so then i changed the sky color to blue just to match his like fur and everything it just looks a little bit better after that i tried making his tail glow using exposure but that didn't really work so i used hue saturation and put some blend if on it as well as adding some glow to the top of it because of this glow we obviously needed even more highlights 
And again, this takes a while, but it looks so good. As we're coming to the end here, we added some nice little space effects just to add another little dynamic to it. And this is what we've got. Wow, I really love how this turned out. It's so vibrant and blue and it's it just looks pretty cool. All the details, all the highlights, the glow, it just makes everything come together and look so nice in the end. I especially like how the ruby looks in the middle. Well, it's more of a sapphire looking thing now, but I really love how that looks. It just adds a whole nother dynamic and it looks great. So on this next one, I don't really consider it a monster. It's more of just a snake, if we're being honest. So I'm going to let this whole thing play. And I think it's actually kind of funny. It's great to do something different for a change. And I really like this. I put it in like as a little like Bavarian snake. He's kind of like a nerd, I guess. I don't know. I hope you guys like it. It's funny. As we come up to the end here, I'd like to say thank you guys for all the support lately. And this is what we've got. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about this. It's like this librarian snake with a top hat and some glasses. I tried to put a mustache on there, but it didn't look very good. But <laughs> this is just funny. I, I love how this turned out. It may not be a monster, but it's just something silly and funny to do. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.